Talking Agenda and on the show today we talk about an important decision that's come for the telecom regulatory. Now, it's an order on differential pricing and it sounds very technical but really it's about all of us and how we use the internet and what kind of accessibility we have. The panel, the Telecom Regulatory Authority has said no to differential pricing, which means that all the companies or the telecom providers, people like Facebook and Airtel, who were offering what they were saying, free access to the internet for a small price, access to various sites, that has been turned down. So it is a major thing, but it's something that the TRA has ordered lots of people, lots of activists who were saying that they are for saving the internet, they were for net neutrality, they are cheering this order. So we'll be speaking to them. With me is Raman Chima. He is a lawyer. He works for Axis. They've been advocating it. Also joining us, another advocate of net neutrality, uh, MP, Member of Parliament, Rajiv Chandrasekhar. He joins us from the capital. And somebody who says it's a terrible idea is from the TB Ramachandran. He joins us as well. We'll hear from all of them with what, how they interpret this order. And of course, our audience, young people, everybody who uses the internet, we'll hear from them as well. But first, let's just hear what the Tri Chairperson said while announcing this order. And remember, it's about all of us and how we use the internet. So we have to pay attention to this. No service provider shall charge differential pricing on the uh, basis of application, platforms, or websites, or source. So it should be not based on source, destination, type of content, or the application. We have also uh, uh, sort of made exceptions or exemptions in case of grave emergencies. Anything on internet cannot be differentially priced. That's the broad point which we have made in the in the regulation so it's an issue which divides people people on one side say look we in india are a poor country we need free access to the internet whoever provides it while other people say look it's taking away the democracy of the internet so people like facebook and have already come out given statements saying that we're very disappointed with it uh, T.B. Ramachandran, uh, the broadband forum, you're saying that this is a terrible thing to happen. Why is that? Uh, thank you, Sumitra. Um, see, first of all, I would like to clarify that this is a decision of the authority on the differential pricing aspect. It is not a decision on net neutrality because that has not even been defined yet. And the DOT has to define it. Regulator is waiting for it and I think consultations are going on. So we should not take this as a decision on net neutrality. We all support net neutrality, but it has to be defined for the Indian context. Number two, what I would like to state is that India needs desperately to augment its penetration of broadband. We are far below even our neighboring smaller countries. We are ranked 144 in the League of Nations of 162 in broadband penetration, and that's pretty, pretty low. So we need to improve that. For that, it is better that we give at least part of the Internet free rather than the whole Internet. If somebody can't have the whole Internet, he can at least have part of the Internet, he tastes it, and then he moves on. So we need to do that and not worry about other aspects, because the charges are not to be increased for anybody else. They, they remain at whatever they are, the website, content, what they are priced. Some are given, some sites are given free, which demand less resources, which are technically similar. And I would like to say in this context, Sumitra, that you cannot say that the, say a YouTube demands the same resource or bandwidth as an email browsing. So the, you can't, equals is not equitable. To be equal is not equitable. Net, the net was never designed for such neutrality. Okay, let, let it is designed to be on open. Point, on and those points that you have, the, on those points, he's saying it's not about net neutrality. Uh, would you agree with that? Well, see, if it sounds like a dog, looks like a dog, and barks like a dog, it is a dog. But like, leave that aside. I think what the, tel the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India's chairman said today, they've taken a strong decision. In fact, if you see the order, it says very clearly, this isn't something new. We're building on past 
decisions by the government of India and the telecom licenses. Discrimination is not okay. Today, the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India said that discrimination, economic discrimination on data is not acceptable. They have laid out rules for that and that's what they've advanced for. And I think that's what's very clearly out outlined. And the you're all celebrating that. I think we're celebrating that because the TRA has recognized and said very clearly that if you don't have if you don't if you don't prevent discrimination on the internet you don't really have the internet the benefits all the things that mr ramachandran just talked about it only comes about when you have the open web for example it just reminds me of the idea that around 70 80 years ago right at this spot here in delhi mm -hmm. the british government used to say well indians need limited democracy not full democracy but democracy is democracy right i i, I like the way how all the analogies come up and i just i would want you to elaborate on a couple of those points but first let's just see how young people before we take it to Rajiv Chandrasekhar, just how, and it's interesting, one person in the audience over here uh, gave the analogy of the quota system. Why did you feel that? Why did that analogy come up? With the decision that came up today, for yeah. me, it's a moment of celebration. And as Sir was saying, it's full democracy. And uh, yeah, I do think that had Free Basics or, uh, you know, the whatever the companies were trying to pr uh, propagate, had that been there, then it would have acted like the reservation or the quota system that we already have in our uh, institutions or uh, maybe other uh, uh, other you mean someone other organizational structures yeah okay. I, I actually mean someone controlling but uh, but yeah this is nice and uh, a happy and positive decision for me okay so many people over here a lot of the you know free internet evangelists uh, who are celebrating but Rajiv Chandrasekhar as someone who has been campaigning uh, for net neutrality why aren't you celebrating just yet <laughs> No, no, I am celebrating and I, I, I don't want you to feel that I'm not celebrating. I am celebrating but I, because I think this marks not just the first step towards net neutrality, but it is also a significant swinging of the pendulum away from policy being captured and influenced by telcos towards being more focused on consumers and consumer rights. So there is a real reason for consumers to celebrate because this is the first time in many, many, many years that the regulator has stood out there and stood out for consumers and and uh, in, in a lot of ways uh, you know tossed away these arguments this facile arguments that telcos have been making for some time but having said that Sunetra, we must understand one thing differential tariffs and differential pricing is one element an important element of net neutrality but there are other significant issues for example the fast lane slow lane which is the issue of prioritization which goes beyond tariffing this is about long term contracts or medium term contracts between one website and a telco where a telco basically says i will give you faster access to your website and slow down access to your competitors website so there are many issues now this issue for example is not an that issue that the regulator can again. intervene in yes of course it can happen and it can happen today and it may be happening today we don't even know it because we don't know uh, what exactly is going on and because the regulator doesn't have the powers to intervene on that issue is why the regulator has not taken on the full issue of net neutrality it has taken on an issue where it had the powers which is tariffing but it, there are significant issues left before our internet can be guaranteed to be fully net neutral Okay, you know, there's someone here in the audience. There are lots of people who have questions about the fining system because if you look at the points which the TRA, the telecom uh, panel came out with while saying that you can't have differential pricing, they also levied this fine. What was it that you wanted to know about the fine? Yeah. Uh, like uh, TRA has like uh, imposed a fine of 50,000 rupees per day and it has said that uh, there will be a trial check after every two years. But my question here is the people who are new bloggers, they, those who do not have big giant sites such as Facebook, Google, what about them? Like is it a, uh, like, is it a justified decision to have a trial check after every two years? Will it stop the exploitation for the yeah. new bloggers? Okay. Absolutely. No, I think there are two things here. One, I think try is just starting the enforcement process. And remember there are two things, right? They're saying financial penalties, but remember they're saying we're going to take actions on the basis of the license. And if you remember, telcos don't have an automatic right to do business in this country. Telecom companies operate on a license given by the government of India because Spectrum, which we all use when we use a cell phone, is a public resource. It's not a private monopoly. Mm -hmm. Now they can take immediate action and that's there in the order. The financial penalty is an additional element on top of that. And I think the other element that they put in there is try said, let us review the rules in 
two years. So they're saying we can improve it, we can add more elements, we could even connect it to other rules, like Mr. Chandrasekhar mentioned on broader net neutrality, like fast and slow. Do you think rates. they'll have to levy fines? I mean, will people be flouting this order? Well, one hopes that they don't. Let's see. But I that think in practice happen. that could happen, and I think that's what Tri said early on, saying the order takes effect from today. Try is very clear. This is a regulation. This is not a recommendation. This is not a direction. It is binding law implementing from today. Yeah. Which in first they given six months for some consumers to have a grace period to move to other packs. But with but from today, if telcos violate this order, they will be fined per day. So TV Ramachandran, I want to ask you: Is this the end of free basics, Airtel Zero, all these things that we're talking about? Is this the end of that? Because Try has ruled. Uh. Uh, well, it looks like it because, uh, see, I have to read the detailed order and the reasoning of the try. I'm sure they have put in some very sound arguments there. I'd have to read that. I, I, can't, I didn't have the time for that. But on the face of it, from what has been communicated in the press release and from the highlights of the detailed order, one thinks that uh, things like free basics or ATL zero may not be allowed because, in effect, they are giving some sites free while others remain as what they are. Now, this is something which is what I feel strongly about. You are denying access to uh, the people who are not connected. You and I don't represent India. There are a billion people out there who are not yet connected in the, to the net because our penetration the of the net is not like mobile. Is it is saying of having free internet. Is there anyone who, who supports that, who wants that, that, yeah, you do, why? Yeah. Because if we get the free basics, so more and more people will uh, able to get online and the uh, making of chows become lesser. Okay. And uh, it should be reconsidered, uh, the free basics should be reconsidered because I think just, you uh, know, sort it out by saying that it is economically differential, economically unfair. It's not like that. So it Rajiv should be reconsidered. Shaker, what would you say? to someone who argues that point, which is what people who are, in fact, Facebook statement said that we will continue to get more people online, which seems like a noble uh, aim. How would you, and you know, some people over here in the audience want that. How, what would you, how would you argue against that? No, Sunitra, I, I, and I have uh, said publicly that I actually endorse the, um, the, the goal of getting more and more people online. But unfortunate power of this zero rating, the unfortunate consequence of zero rating, as good the, as noble the intentions of Facebook are or, um, or, or claim to be, the problem with this is that it puts power in the hands of telecom companies that will be misused and, and quite surely will be misused. So it's a, it's a, it's a, the regulator is trying to walk a narrow path between saying, yes, we would prefer a cheap, inexpensive access to the internet, but by doing so, by allowing telcos to zero rate, you actually give power to the telcos to start playing God and gatekeepers to the internet. And that starts a process of cableization of the internet, which becomes then in many years, in, in, in a few years, becomes very difficult to regulate and reverse. So I think in balance, the choice is being made that we don't want telcos to get more powerful and start controlling the internet. And there may be other ways of looking at how to bring the unconnected online. Okay. R R Raman Chimir, do you want to add to that this argument against, you know? I add to that in this saying that you can see it even before TRAI. TRI's main job has been to promote broadband for nearly 15 years. And the one interesting thing you'll notice, even from the telecom companies, even from their representatives, until even a year ago, none of them actually said that zero rating helps increase internet access. They are all focusing none on infrastructure. Okay. None of those people. And in fact, very learned economists and broadband specialists have noted that zero rating actually provides a disincentive to telcos. Rather than growing infrastructure, they'll try and charge more on what's already there. So we have that. And I think even what Facebook said that, look, we want to continue on this. That's noble. Help in, with infrastructure, help with new technology, whether it's drones, whether it's new broadband, whether it's fiber, that's what we need. Not making the, cutting up the small pie into even smaller segments, but growing it, as one of my friends keeps Okay, saying. so we'll take a short break on the agenda. Now, when we come back, we we'll look at the judgment a little closer as well and look at how the government takes it up next. Stay with us.
Welcome back to Agenda, where we are talking about the implications, repercussions of what the try has ordered, that there shall be no differential pricing allowed by telecom uh, operators. Shriram Kari, also another person who is unhappy with this order. Why do you think this order is wrong? Sunitra, we're not so much only about the differential pricing, but this debate between net neutrality and differential pricing is one aspect of it has essentially hijacked a larger idea called Free Basics, which could have given hope of instant internet connectivity, even if not the larger internet, but a limited scale internet to about seven, eight hundred million people in this country. They have been left out and look at the process of try mobilizing opinions on whether people who have never had an internet connection should be connected for the first time to the internet was done online. How do you expect people who have never had internet to email to try or respond to uh, uh, the pages on Facebook on whether Free Basics is right or wrong. I that, to me, is the essential dimension. Yeah, that's a really interesting point. It, who who put their point of view forward? I know you had consultations, Ramanthia, yeah. but what about, that's a really interesting point. The people who are not on online, how do they make their voice heard? Firstly, the I, millions of people. I found it very funny. I think Mr. Panju just mentioned that uh, they did a Facebook consultation exercise. I think actually Facebook did that. Facebook ran a promotional yeah. campaign on yeah. Facebook. I think Try A, remember, and Try is, is not an opinion poll agency. Try is an independent regulator empowered okay. by parliament to make a decision. And they, in fact, took inputs not just from people who sent that there, but chief ministers wrote in, elected representatives who represent over a million Indians in each constituency wrote to them. You had multi, you had all these things going in there. You had an open house discussion. So fair representation. Very fair. And I would say that, so, and I, last thing I'd add, this when yeah. you're saying about you know representing people online the free basics i think is an important point but no one has still date shown me data showing that free basics has actually got anyone online except facebook's own proprietary data which they don't let anyone review or vet okay so the final question rajit chandrasekhar is uh, i know that you've had problems with the kind of uh, uh, you know the the, the pass that try has but now is the government uh, going to enforce it are they going to back this up what happens now no, uh, so I mean, I can't speak for the government, but I'm hoping that the other pieces of net neutrality that have to be um, uh, legislated or, uh, in, in a sense, a law that has to be, uh, you know, passed on this has to come from the government because the regulator has done what it can under the limited powers that it has, which is to do with tariffing. There are issues, like I said, about slow lane, fast lane, and data prioritization, and the broader issue of discrimination on the net. That, ha that will have to come from the government of India, either as a guideline or as, a, or as an annexure to the license conditions of the telcos or as a law. Uh, but there will have to be significant uh, policy action on part of the government to complete the first step that the TRA has taken. Okay. Uh, we're totally out of time, so I just want to thank all my guests. And what everyone's hoping for is that after this order, any order, the internet remains free and accessible to more and more people. That's it on Agenda. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.